Good morning everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to do a journal flip through on journal number five, which is this one here. Um, I won this journal in Trisha's giveaway and um, she's basically the one who inspired me to start journaling. Um, and, you know, when I was a young girl, I did used to keep a, a diary, you know, in primary school and high school, um, but I kind of stopped um, you know, writing. So I was, yeah, I'm so glad that I started to journal again and I'm so happy that I'm able to share it with you guys as well. Um, but before I start a flip on this one, I just wanted to share with you guys the uh, journal that I'm working on right now. Um, it's a J Burroughs that I purchased from Officeworks, which is like a massive like stationary school office supply store here in Australia. Um, so it was about 13 or $14 uh, for this journal. I absolutely love the size of it. It's not too big and it's not too small. Um, I started this journal on the 18th of April this year. So I decorated the inside cover and I'm not totally finished with it. But um, yeah, I'll get back to that, you know, at some point. Um, so I started off the first page with goals for my journal um, and I am well and truly behind but um, I have started May and this is the layout that I finished this morning which I absolutely love and um, I've already laid out the washi tape here for um, the next layout and also here which I do have to finish up but I will get there so I thought I'd just give a little update on what's going on with my current journal super excited about starting a new journal anyway anyway and I'm sure everyone kind of gets a bit excited on working um, in a new journal so anyway, um, I was super excited to start this journal and that excited that I didn't even bother to decorate the inside cover. Um, I started this journal um, back in June uh, the 1st, 2018. I used a lot of um, magazine clippings. So I bought uh, a lot of magazines from Lifeline and the Salvation Army. So the Salvos sell their magazines for 20 cents a piece and uh, 50 cents a piece for, uh, from Lifeline. So I used a lot of magazine clippings. I did a cupcake layout on this page. Um, and here I was basically writing about... Um, when my birth father had passed away um this day marked um a year since he passed i used yeah just some random magazine clippings but i kind of stuck with the flower theme as you can see there um some of the magazines were like art painting type magazines so like I cut out a lot of paintings and stuff like that and then I started using die cuts and I thought that little angel down there was pretty nice found that in a magazine I used the wine um magazine clipping just because I thought it went really well with this washi tape which I absolutely love this washi tape it is so pretty tried to make everything kind of blue-ish on this page did a bit of a like fairy unicorn type uh, theme on this page here and then carrying on that unicorn theme using some journal cards as well which I'm not using much of lately I really should start using some um, journal cards I really need to use up a lot because I've got like a million of them and yeah just basically using up a lot of washi 
these uh, stickers here I got from Daiso and these uh, stickers here I got from um, oh, AliExpress. Love that picture. I just love the purple flowers and I thought it went really well with the washi tape as well. And I always love butterflies and it matched the washi as well so I thought that was pretty nice. I did find a few um, like landscape or nature pictures and this picture really reminds me of like <clears throat> here in North Queensland the beautiful creeks that we have here freshwater creeks again using journal cards and die cuts and I did a bit of a um, flamingo theme if you can't tell <laughs> So this here is the first cal um, collage that I did. I was actually quite proud of it. Um, it was kind of a vintage, you know, theme I was going for. And I thought the colours went really well um, together. But, um, you know, even though I don't mind the vintage look, I find it hard to work with sometimes. I don't know why but I thought these flowers down here which are die cuts I thought they went quite well with um, what was you know with the whole layout love this page um, quite I like pastel the colors are just nice and light and yeah I just thought I did a good job there sorry if you can hear the wind it is super windy here and we have a low and category two cyclone sitting um, just outside of Cairns. I think it's about a thousand kilometers northeast ish from Cairns, and it is mid May. Don't know exactly what's going on. It's super crazy. But um, I think we're going to start getting a crap load of rain, probably about 80 to 100 mil. Um, either tomorrow or Wednesday we'll just have to wait and see um, so I absolutely love what I did here I was just using um, die cuts and a magazine clipping and then I pasted that on top of uh, scrapbooking paper so I love what I did there and then I found these pictures in a magazine, which I absolutely love, like that graffiti um, pictures. And this here is like super colorful. I love it. It's a tag, um, but I cut it out of a magazine. And then I bought this magazine. It's the cover of the magazine, which I cut out of the um, magazine itself. And I wanted to put it in here because I just... I don't know, I thought it looked really, really nice. So um, I had to add that in my journal. And another um, collage that I did there on the left, again, kind of that vintage style. Um, there was a magazine that I purchased and it had a lot of vintage type um, artwork in it. Or craft work and I'm gonna leave it here which is another collage that I did um, and this time it's all sweets love this cake um, I'm gonna finish off here because I've got to keep this video under 10 minutes um, so I'll continue on a journal flip through and um, hopefully we can get through this journal really really quickly so I hope you enjoyed this flip um, thanks for everyone joining me and I will see you guys next time. Bye.